This is our chapter three, unit one or three one. Okay, we're supposed to get into exponents. So let's quick review from last class, or excuse me, class before last class before our test. Okay, let's go over these right here. Okay, our power, our base. I meant to have the highlighter there. Try that again. Okay, our powers, our base, our exponent, and our exponential form. Okay, we have four things we talked about. Okay, remember. Our power is the whole thing. Okay, the power is the whole thing in exponential form. Okay, the base is the number that is being multiplied. So in that case, 4 squared is 4 times 4. So the 4 is your base. Okay, the exponent is the number at the top. And then exponential form is taking something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and writing it like that. That would be your exponential form of 3 to the 5th. Okay? So just a quick run through again of our definitions. Okay? I believe I do have a definition sheet that I will give you guys on Monday. Okay? So, for example, write 2 times 2 times 2 in exponential form. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 twos, so it's 2 to the 5th. Okay? 2 to the 5th. What does this mean? What's evaluate mean? Answer, right. Find value. Evaluate means find value, find the answer. So I'm going to put 2 to the 5th in my calculator, or you can do it in your head if you know it. Okay? 2 to the 5th would be 32. Okay? be 32. So this answer would be 32. And that's if you did something like that in your calculator, or in your calculator you put 2 carat 5. What I mean by carat Oh, a lot of things to talk about. When you're doing it in your calculator, there's a, there's a square button, and a lot of times there's a cube button, but there's not like five or six buttons. So you have to go two, and your calculator should have this little arrow. That means the exponent, and then you would just put a six or a five for this case. Okay, so numbers bigger than two and three, that's how you do them in your calculator. Okay, if you need help finding that button on your calculator, I can help you a little bit later. Okay. Any questions so far? We good? Okay. Um, and just so you guys know, if you ever forget your book, I'm on Moodle right now. This is on Moodle. I'm using my Moodle pages, so if you ever forget your stuff, it's on Moodle. So I kind of eliminate the excuses of I forgot my book. All right. So that you know, right, 4 times 4 times 4 are the power. So do what would that be? This one, right? 4 to the 3rd. Good. Okay, and then what is that evaluated? Brandon, what's that evaluated? 4 times 4 is 16. What's 4 times 16? 64. Okay. Okay, here, Brandon, mental math note. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16. We're all comfortable with that, right? Okay, 16 times 4. What is 6 times 4? What's 10 times 4? What's 40 plus 24? Boom. That's all you got to do. Remember, break it into 10s. It's so much easier that way, guys. Don't think about the 16. Think about a 10 and a 6. Okay? It's so much easier that way. Because I know you guys can add 40 plus 24 in your head. Okay? Good. 64. All right. Let's move on to the next example here. So we're on page 94 now. If you're staying with me. Okay. Powers of positive bases, evaluate each power, okay, so each power of 4 squared, we're trying to find the answer for 4 squared, be 16, okay, 2 cubed, that would be 8, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, and then what is 3 to the 6th, what is 3 to the 6th, no, 27, no, 729? 729? What did you get, Theo? What's 3 to the 6? What did you think? Oh. 729? Okay. All right, so let's... Yes, ma'am. Ah, good question. Okay. So, um... She asked why I said cubed. 
Okay, anything to the third is cubed. Does anybody know why math does that? Theo? That's good. Okay, when you're talking about like a volume of a, of a cube, right? If I had like a dice or a die, okay, and I times the, the height, the width, and the length, I'd have three twos. So it would be two times two times two. And so th when you're doing three-dimensional objects, it's cubed. And that's why we call it cubed, because we're talking about cubes. But you can just say to the third, it's fine. Okay, squared, the reason we talk about squares, guys, okay, is because it's two dimensions. So that right there is a square, and it would just, to find the area of that, would just be four times four, right? But then when we get to, um, use my little, I'm not very, good, very art artistic, but we'll see how this works here. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so there's my cube. Okay, so we have two times two, and then the side here is two. That's why it's cubed. Okay, so two times two times two. Very good question. Okay? See, stuff like that's really good because that's a small thing I just said. I just said two cubed, and some of you might not have just kind of ignored it. Okay, that's a good kind of question there for clarity. Okay, so the power of four squared can be read as four squared, or yeah, four squared. You can use the model of a square to represent the power, so then it's four units by four units, which makes 16. Okay, and then down here is even a better picture. I guess I didn't have to draw it, did I? Okay, do we have questions, or are we just something important going on back there? Yeah. You okay? All right. So right here, this is exactly what we were just talking about. Power of 2 cubed, we read as 2 cubed. You can use the model of a cube that represents the power. So it's actually the same one I drew. 2, 2, and then 2 a height. Okay, so 2 cubed, that'd be 8. Now, if you think about that, if I took this apart, okay, I'd have 4 cubes in the first row and 4 cubes in the second row, which give me 8 cubes. Okay, so that's how it all comes together. Okay, and the power of 3 is 6. The base is 3, and the next one is 6. You can represent 3 as 6. Is multiplication and you get the 729. Okay? All right. You want to get that next, Nick? Okay, why don't you guys try these ones really quickly? Okay? Try these ones on your own, real quick. Okay. It's in French. Okay. And so it's just on the keyboard part. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, Ethan, what'd you do for six squared? Thirty-six, right? Feel pretty good about that. Okay. Three to the fourth. Logan, what'd you do three to the fourth? Eighty-one? I didn't hear you. You just kept saying yeah. So I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> okay, five cubed. Dan, what do you have five cubed? No. See, you kind of did a little thing and said he did five times five is 25, and then he times it by three. So by five again. So what does five quarters make? A dollar twenty-five. Okay, five cubed. Okay. I don't know, Sydney's calculating everything for us. Okay, I can show you how that. Yeah, it might not be. Okay, I will show you something you can get, though. Okay, so then evaluate each power. So let's pay attention to the negatives now. So stay with me. Okay, stay with me. So we have negative 2 to the 4th. What's the difference between A and B? This is important. You're going to not miss, do not miss this on your test. What's the difference? There's brackets. And what does the brackets mean? Like in terms of what what is the actual difference besides just the brackets? Yeah. For B? Yeah. Okay, not quite, but uh, you, this part's right. Ryan's right here. It's a negative 2 four times. Okay, 
What's the difference with B? Theo? B is um, just computer horsepower instead of horsepower. Yeah, but it's not the same. Okay, so this one is a negative and then four twos. Exactly. Do you see the difference? This is very important. Okay, if you don't see the difference, just one second, let me explain it, and we'll try again. So the, this is four negative twos. What did we talk about on Wednesday about even exponents and negatives? If they're even, they're what? Remember, Dewey? They're positive because they match up. What's a negative two times a negative two? It's a positive four. What's a negative two times a negative two? Positive four. What's four times four? 16. So this one's 16. Okay? Now this one, this is 2 times 2 times 2 times, which is 16, but this negative is just hanging out by itself, so it's going to be a negative 16. That's the difference. Okay? So the difference is, this is saying negative 2 to the 4th. This is saying 2 to the 4th, but it's going to be negative. I like the way Theo said that. He said, think about it, it's 2 to the 4th, and then it's going to be negative. Okay? And that's because this 4th is not touching the negative. The brackets makes them together. Okay? So then, C. Is C going to be positive or a negative answer? Let's focus on that. Okay. So, cookie. Cookie, is my X part odd or even? This, it's odd, right? What do we know about odd? That it'll be negative because you're going to have one left off. What I mean by that is I have negative 4, negative 4, negative 4. These two will cancel and make a positive, but this guy will make it back to negative again because he's left out. He doesn't have a friend. He's alone. Loner. Loner, yep. Okay. So that gives us 64 negative. Okay. And right here, a lot of stuff going on. So let's, pretend, let's forget about this for a second. Negative 5 to 6, that negative or positive? Positive, okay, and then this makes it negative, okay, so that's just what would happen. We'd have a negative out here, it'd be negative 5 six times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, and then these pairs, these pairs would all make positive, but this would turn everything to negative at the end, okay, yeah, right. It's, yeah, well, don't, worry about next, don't worry about negative exponents yet, but negative exponents will not make it things negative, okay? So don't worry about those yet. Yeah. Yes. Okay, another great question for Caitlin here. If, if we had five negative fives, Okay, that would make this group negative with a negative out here. What's a negative negative? So it would be back to positive. Okay, that's a good, good point. So the way you can think about this is, is think about it in two parts. Right now, with the 6, it's positive, right? And then that makes it negative. If I change it to a 5, it's now what? Negative, that makes it a positive. Okay, so just kind of like this guy just kind of says opposite. Whatever you're going to get, opposite. Okay, good. All right, here we go. We just went through all those. That's what they're doing here for the next couple of stuff. Is there a word problem? Um, yeah, there is. How would, how would they do that? We'll get to it. Okay, let's go through this right here, and then we'll be done. Okay, and I'll let you guys have time to work. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. So where are we at now? 90, 96. Okay, so now we're checking our understanding. So it's kind of the start to your assignment, but we, your, your assignment usually starts in the practice. Okay? All right, so explain why it is often easier to write an expression as a power rather than a repeated multiplication. So what makes it easier to write as a power than a repeated multiplication? Yeah. Yeah, it's just smaller, right? If I said... You know, if I said, Nick, I want you to put 3 to the 11th, well, we're going to do 3 to the 11th, holy moly, we're right, you know, it's much easier to go just 3 to the 11th, okay, right, as a power. That's kind of why we have them, okay, exponents kind of help us with that, okay.
Okay. Explain how the two diagrams and calculations show that two cubed and three squared are different. Okay. A lot of people think that this is two times three and three times two. People get confused with exponents, thinking that's how they work. Okay. So this is how we can show that they're different. Um, two times two times two is eight. So this guy right here is eight cubes in here that we already talked about. Okay. This guy right here is three squared is nine cubes in here. Whoops. Like that. Three nine of them. Does that make sense? Now the only thing is if we're actually doing this problem, is it cubic units and square units different? Thank you. Is cubic units and square units different? Yeah, they have to be, right? What is cubic units? It goes back to Caitlin's original question, why we call it a cube. What is the difference between Dewey's sheet of paper and that cow back there? That is a cow. Yeah. It has three dimensions, right? And then Dewey's piece of paper has two dimensions. <laughs> Yeah, we have some, somebody showing me some four dimensions. Let's have fun with that. Okay, so, but yeah, the point is, is three dimensions, okay, this is definitely three dimensions. This is two dimensions. So, I, I know it might seem weird that this is, has more, but this would actually be, if we give it a, um, if we gave this a, uh, a unit, like we said, this is centimeters, this would be nine centimeters squared. This would be eight centimeters cubed, okay? And that is different. Um, depends. It it would it, it's hard to compare them because they're, they're they're different dimensions. Yeah, it's kind of hard to compare. Okay, all right. Let's finish this up here. Panay, so you say her name maybe? Panay? I don't know. Penny. Let's go, Penny. Go little Big Bang Theory. Let's call her Penny. Okay. All right. So when you evaluate the power with a negative base and an even exponent. You get a positive. When you evaluate the power with a negative base and an odd exponent, you get a negative. Is she correct? Okay. So she said when you have an even exponent, she says this is going to be positive. Okay. And this is going to be negative. Is that correct? Yes, she's right. Okay. Odd is going to get you a negative. Okay. Even is going to get you a positive if the answer is negative. Or excuse me, not the answer, the base. If the base is negative. Okay, and then what's the thing that can change that? We just talked about it. Right, if I have a negative sign out here, that just makes us flip our thinking. Makes us flip our thinking. Okay? Yeah. Can there be a negative with a negative at the bracket? So, yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so good question. Yeah. Right, you guys keep asking negative exponent. Don't want negative exponents yet? But a negative exponent will not make things negative. Okay? All right. So, to back to Ryan, guys, last thing I'm going to say, stay with me. Last thing. This one right here. Okay? Remember, cover this up. What's negative 2 cubed? Is it going to be a positive or negative? Negative 8. Negative 8. Good. And then that makes it a positive 8. Good. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Very, a, lot of, a lot of turns there. All right. Good deal. Let me get this stopped here. Whoa.